Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss one of the projections of straight lines problem. We can call it as room problem also. Here, instead of room, one cuboid has given. Cuboid dimensions are given. Let us take the problem. After that, we will do the projections in it. Projections means front view of the object and top view of the object. Find graphically the length of the largest rod that can be kept inside a hollow cuboid of 60 mm by 40 mm by 30 mm okay these are the cuboid dimensions so if you are writing this dimension so in the answer i am writing cuboid dimension same as it is if you are converting in centimeter this is 6 centimeters this is 4 centimeter this is 3 centimeter if you are doing roughly here cuboid this is the height okay this is the width this is the length okay. initially we will take 3 uh, centimeter height Okay, roughly I am doing here 3 centimeter and width is 4 centimeter. Make it box initially. After that, the length is 6 centimeters. Let us take in 3D form. Here, without using drawing instruments, I am doing this box. Okay, let us assume this is a cuboid. In exam paper, also you can do the rough diagram. Here, you have to write the rough diagram like that. In it, what he has given, find graphically the length of the largest rod that can be kept inside a hollow cuboid. This is a hollow cuboid. Okay, we need to take one largest length of the rod. Okay, inside the cuboid. So, which is the largest length? Length has not given. So, just he has given the largest rod. So, that we have to fix that rod inside the box. If you are taking one rod, okay. If you are keeping from this corner to opposite corner, okay, it is the longest length, okay, or this one is also the longest length, correct? So, two lengths are same, okay, because this is a cuboid, okay, whatever this side diagonal, same length of the diagonal is coming here. Let us take, we are keeping rod from here to this corner, okay, just roughly I am doing here. Okay, one rod I am keeping here. Okay, just like a straight line, we are keeping one rod. This is the largest length of the rod. Okay, here we have to find this length of the rod. Okay, find graphically the length of the largest rod that can be kept inside a halo cuboid. So, this length of the rod we can keep inside the halo cuboid. Okay, here we need to find this length graphically. Okay, for that we need to do the projections. Okay. Let us take uh, this rod is, I am taking this is capital A, this is capital B, okay. Now here according to the dimension 3 centimeter height, 4 centimeter width and uh, 6 centimeter length. This is, this length is 6 centimeters, okay. This is also 6, this is also 6, okay. Now here if you are taking the dimensions of this wall, so wall, wall length is, wall height is same at all the places, 3 centimeter, okay. And then how much this one width 4 centimeter like this okay so it is cuboid it is uh, automatically we know whatever this wall length everywhere it is same and similarly width is also same everywhere 4 centimeter and length is also same it is 6 centimeters okay now here in the projections of lines projections means front view of that line and top view of the line here instead of line we are taking the rod inside the cuboid so for that we need to do the front view and top view okay front view and top view are called projections so where we can see this rod for getting the front view means wherever the length is more compared to these three lengths so six centimeter is more so that side we have to from that side we have to see this view okay it is called front view we have to see in this direction top view means from the top of the object we have to see so in the shortcut form i'm writing top view t dot v front view f dot v okay if you see from front we can see this face of this cuboid correct what are the dimensions of this cuboid this is three centimeter what about this length this length is six centimeters we can see in the front view this rectangle okay three by six centimeters initially do roughly here so this is height is three centimeter the length is 6 centimeters. Okay, this is the front view. 
okay here do the xy line okay so this is the front view below the front view we have to do the top view okay top view means from this direction we have to see before doing the top view we have to take one reference line between front view and top view that line is called xy line or reference line it is the xy of some length it is passing through this uh, cuboid length okay so this line is separating front view and top view okay it is uh, coincided with this length 6 centimeters okay so after getting front view let us do the top view if you see from top we can see this surface okay top surface of the cuboid what are the dimension 6 centimeters by 4 centimeter okay that one we have to do below xy here so 6 centimeters by 4 already we did 6 here let us take the remaining 4 centimeter here okay this is 6 centimeters okay so this is 6 centimeters this is 4 centimeter this box we did this is the top view this is front view this is top view after that here we need to find the largest length of the rod okay so if we let us assume we are keeping one rod here maximum length rod we don't know that length we have to find it let us see in the front view okay if you see in the front view this rod is looking like joining two corners okay so this corner we can't see from this direction we can see this point it is coming here which is joining two ends okay we can see the rod here it is joining two ends like this correct so if you see from front this point is coinciding with this so this rod is starting here from here to here okay we can see this rod here so we don't know length just join this corner to this corner okay now it is like this okay join these two corners okay this is a front view for front views we are marking um, small for front views we are marking small letters a b with dash okay a dash b dash this is a front view of the rod okay now in the top view also we have to mark rod if you see from top we can see this rod okay this rod means here this point is coinciding here from the top we can see the rod from here it is starting here okay and here it is ending if you see from top this point is coming here we can see this rod okay but here in the this surface only we will see okay so this point is coming here this point is here okay so the rod is from this point to the this point so this point to this point for top view we are marking small a b okay this is the front view this is a top view of cuboid with the rod okay but if you see from front whatever length we are doing it is less than the true length of the line if it is like this we can't tell the true length first we are tilting like this horizontally okay and whatever length we are seeing in the top view it is coming exactly the same length okay if you are seeing tilting object we can't see the true length okay what we are doing we are tilting to horizontal we are seeing this total length so it is a true length if it is like this we can tell the true length for uh, we have to tilt this whatever this radius we have to tilt this okay so take the same whatever this radius by using compass do an arc this has center a dash has center so by using compass now we are tilting we have to see in the top view okay top view means this one we have to take this b corner up to the locus of b this is locus of b we have to take this length okay we have to do the vertical projectile line here now i am giving this name is some new name we can give b only we have to give i am taking b2 okay new position now if we join a and b2 it is the true length of the rod in the top view now join a b2 join a b2 it is the true length of the a b2 is the true length of the line If you join A, B2, it is a true length of the rod in the top view. Here I have written A, B2. Okay, this line is not there. 
just by using scale we need to join okay so this is the true length in the top view now how to find true length in the front view means whatever this length is there reduced length uh, already i told whatever tilting objects are there we are keeping to horizontal we are seeing that object in the horizontal position whatever this length tilt it by using compass okay so let us assume it is coming here give the new name here this is the top view that's why we are giving small letters b1 i am giving extend this up to locus of b like this okay on the same line b1 we are giving in the front view we are giving b1 dash join a dash b1 dash it is the true length of the rod in the front view by using scale so this is the rough diagram i am not using scales all those just i am telling the processor okay a dash b1 dash is the true length of of rod in front view okay so these two should be same because we are using the same rod so this rod length should be same okay so this is the processor of doing finding the true length of the rod maximum length of the rod okay we will do this diagram graphically in the next class so this is the processor and with rough diagram